Hi, this is Frank Fantini again, and today we are with Sarah Ramey, who's Senior Vice President of the American Gaming Association, and Sarah is a capable fill-in for Jeff Freeman, who couldn't be here today because... He had a child this morning, so he had a lovely baby girl and was unable to join us today. But he'll well, be here tomorrow. Well, that's a legitimate reason. It was a legitimate reason, yes, thankfully, yes. But, but we're glad to have you here. Thank Sarah. you. Thank you for having me. Now, the American Gaming Association has taken on some new leadership in the past year. Jeff's been here since, I think, April of last year. You joined in January, mm -hmm. even though you do have a career in the gaming industry mm -hmm. at MGM. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell us a little bit about the new direction, what fresh direction you and Jeff have, are bringing to the AGA, and, and then a little bit about some of the, your specific initiatives. Sure. So um, Jeff, obviously, having come from the U.S. Travel Association, having a lot of experience working in the travel industry, really wanted to bring a fresh, innovative um, uh, look at the trade association, how a modern trade association would operate. So um, he's been working on a couple initiatives, we've been working on a couple initiatives, one of which is uh, doing a better job at uniting the industry. Um, so we're taking a serious look right now at our membership and how we grow our membership and um, represent the totality of the industry. Um, the other piece that we're, we're really focused on is our advocacy piece and getting out there and being the, the champion for the gaming industry. Um, so that's where we launched our Get to Know Gaming campaign, excuse me, earlier this year and um, have been touting all of the, the benefits of the industry um, and pushing out some of the facts to push back on some of these erroneous stereotypes that we're all too familiar with uh, working in the industry. Uh, when you mentioned representing the totality of the industry, I think when the AGA was first formed, oh, I'm not sure how long, a decade or more ago now, there was the feeling it was big gaming. It was the big casino operators, the Harris and the MGMs. Uh, and I know that uh, Frank Ferenkoff, who was the founding CEO of the AGA, was also very careful to make sure that when he spoke for the industry, that he was inclusive of other folks such as uh, American Indian uh, gaming operations. So tell us a little bit about how you see that totality in the membership. If, you, if you've looked at now the expansion of the industry, we're in 39 states. Um, you know, the, I think the only people that make the distinction between tribal and commercial gaming are the people within the industry. You don't, no one walks into a casino and says to themselves, oh, this must be tribal or this must be commercial. Um, there are a lot of issues that, more issues than not, that, that unite us and that we can agree upon. So. Um, I know that is something that the AGA is definitely taking into consideration as we, we look to building our membership and representing the whole industry. Um, in addition to the fact that you, we have the manufacturers. Um, they've obviously been a part of the AGA. They continue to be a, a tremendous partner for us. Um, you can see their presence up at G2E. Um, we're, we're, we're proud to have that partnership with them. But we're also looking at some of the other, you know, other uh, industries that we work with as, as casinos. It's a dynamic these, these are dynamic facilities. They have a ton of different offerings, from entertainment to retail to restaurants. So um, we think we can do a better job at getting, getting more people um, in the association and really touting all the benefits um, of gaming. Right. Casino industry really has become the integrated entertainment industry. It sure has. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've seen that, obviously, in Nevada now with uh, more than half of the revenues coming from the non-gaming side. Um, it's, it's definitely a, a dynamic industry with a lot of different offerings. One of the things that's happened, is happening currently, it's happen happening at an accelerated pace, is globalization and convergence of technologies. Uh, companies aren't just casino floor companies anymore. And if you looked at some of the recent mergers that have taken place, you now have lottery companies that have slot machine divisions, that are online, whether it's online to serve other online operators or with their own online operations. They have um, the whole social gaming phenomenon. How does that enter into the AGA membership and the AGA mission? You know, again, it, it gets back to just the innovation of the industry and all the different platforms now that, that people are operating in, all the different space. You look at the operator side, like I said, they're now so many different entertainment offerings, so many different restaurants, so many different retail options, 
then you look at more of the manufacturing side, like you said, there's so many different platforms. And you know, when we bring those, all those different interests together, we're all working toward the same goal. Um, I think it's going to give us a really great depth and breadth um, of the industry. Now, you had mentioned your, uh, the initiative that we all probably are most familiar with, certainly the public, is, is one aimed at, at the, the American public. Um, Get to Know Gaming. Tell yep. us a little more about that. Sure. Um, so our Get to Know Gaming campaign is, is a two-prong two approach. The first one being that we are going to get out there and be the best champions that we can be for the industry. Proactively tell our story. Tomorrow, um, Jeff is actually coming back, thankfully, after um, having spent some time at home uh, with, with his baby. But he'll be coming back tomorrow, and he'll have a, a major press conference um, talking about our latest study, which was an Oxford economics um, study looking at the totality of the gaming industry. Um, so getting out there, telling, telling the story about the industry, supported by facts. And then the second piece of that is pushing back on all the erroneous stereotypes. Um, you know, when you have stereotypes out there and you have policymakers that are making judgments and creating policies based off those stereotypes, that's where we end up with, with bad policy. So in order for us to continue to grow, continue to be, be able to reinvest and, and innovate, we have to work with policymakers and get them to understand our business better. One of the things I know he touched upon several months ago, and, I, and I'm not sure if this was uh, a, a one a time opportunity or whether it's part of the theme. But the industry has changed so dramatically from a competitive landscape in recent years. The time was, you know, you'd open up a river boat somewhere in Iowa and people would stand in line for 12 mm -hmm. hours and it would pay to come on board. Uh, today we worry about cannibalization, we worry about saturation. And in that business environment, 30, 40, 50, 60 percent tax rates uh, can't sustain a viable business. Uh, and I know that uh, Jeff has addressed that in the past. Uh, does the AGA have any specific um, program in mind to address those kinds of issues? It's a great question. Um, and you raise a, a terrific point. As we've seen more competition coming online, especially in the Northeast, you know, I think what's important for states to realize is, is that this is no longer a competition amongst operators. This is a competition now amongst states. And it really behooves the states to look at the policies that they have in place and make sure that they're able to compete with one another instead of operating sort of in a vacuum and looking in you know, the four borders of their state. Um, we definitely are looking forward to launching some more initiatives to look at some specific things that we can recommend. But you know, I think off the top of our head, there are three, three things that we would, you know, that make sense for any business. Um, tax policy, um, being able to, um, your regulatory environment, and then the, when you look at um, the hospitality industry and the infrastructure and being able to um, be in a good location and having all the transportation needs in one place, um, that's a definite, definitely an area that we're going to be you know, looking at and building upon in the next couple months. Great. Anything else folks should know about the AGA? No, we, we're just excited to be out there and have a great media presence. I think this year at, at G2E, we've got a great show this year, 30,000 people coming to do business and meet and connect and share ideas. And um, so we, we really look forward to being partners with a lot more um, industries representing, representing the totality of the gaming industry. So. Thank okay. you. Thanks well, so much. Sarah, thank, Sarah, thanks for coming by. Give our congratulations to, uh, to Jeff, and thank you. It was very thank informative. You. Thank you. Thanks, thanks so much.